from the Tucker Theater at the Boundwell Dramatic Arts Center, this is the inaugural Raiders Choice Awards. Now, here's your host, Chip Walters. How you doing, everybody? Good time tonight already? Good deal. Welcome to the best dressed study day in the history of MTSU. Glad you could be here. Thank you very much and, and good evening. We're really glad that each of you could be here tonight and be part of this inaugural edition of the Raiders Choice Awards. We're going to be honoring our student athletes for outstanding accomplishments on and off the playing field. And as we move toward the conclusion of another outstanding season that will conclude with another Sunbelt All Sports Championship, it will be Middle Tennessee's fourth in a row, that's right, and eighth in the last 12 years. And everybody in this room has played a big part in that success. And for all of you, you're all MVPs for helping make the Boobas Cup a reality once again at its rightful home in the, in the uh, trophy case at Murphy Center. And as a matter of fact, if you haven't seen the new Boobas Cup standings this week, we may have them here. Are they up there, guys? Oh, Middle Tennessee in the lead. How about that? With just four championships remaining, the Blue Raiders back on top. Well, give yourself a round of applause for that. And also, when you have an athletic year that goes like this school year has been, and you have uh, the athletic season go past the end of the school year, it's a challenge to make sure that every team gets recognized as the way they should be. So what we did when we set up this award show, it works on an April to April calendar. So when Ethan Williams hits 10 home runs in the Sun Belt tournament this year, then he will get rewarded for that next year. So that's why that uh, it was set up like this. So we just want to make sure that uh, those of you who play late in the spring, you will get your recognition. But make no mistake, tonight is all about our student athletes and focusing on the fact that the accomplishments of all of our teams and all of our student athletes could be brought together in just one big event. It also gives each and every one of you the opportunity to have your accomplishments showcased in front of your peers. And you need to know how hard each of you work athletically and academically. And there's nobody that can appreciate that better than teammates and those from other teams and your fellow student athletes. So enjoy yourself tonight. It's your night. And be very, uh, and we're happy to have some very special guests with us tonight as well. So we would like to make sure we recognize some folks who are with us tonight. The president and first lady of Middle Tennessee State University, Dr. Sidney and Liz McPhee. Glad to have them with us tonight. <laughs> University provost, Dr. Brad Bartell is here. <laughs> Vice president for student affairs, Dr. Deborah Sells. Senior Vice President, John Cawthorn. <laughs> Vice President for Information Technology, Bruce Petrushak. <laughs> Vice President for University Development and Relations, uh, Joe Bales. <laughs> I think our Student Government Association President, Jeremy Pointer, is here somewhere in the house. Give him a round of applause. Right here he is. Also, many of our deans and department heads from across campus are here this evening. We ask that you stand and let's give them all a great round of applause. Appreciate that very much. <laughs> Folks, your work is vital to the success of our university and your service is appreciated by the Department of Intercollegiate Athletics. To all of you, we celebrate this centennial year at Middle Tennessee State University. It's been a great year and we welcome you tonight to the Raiders Choice Awards. Our female newcomer of the year, our first award of the night as we get this show on the road. Please welcome our first presenters of the night from the Daily News Journal, MTSU beat writer Adam Sparks, and from Blue Raider football, quarterback Logan Kilgore. Believe it or not, you see two quarterbacks up here, not one. Still waiting on the scholarship offer. <laughs> the Female Newcomer of the Year Award is annually presented to one female student athlete who has made a major contribution to her sport and her team during her first year of competition at Middle Tennessee. The nominees are... 
From women's basketball, Shanice Kaysen. From women's tennis, Nayara Moraes. From volleyball, Lindsay Purvis. From women's golf, Allie Knight. From women's tennis, Flavia Nagayama. From track and field, Lucy Kampkaye. And from softball, Samantha Nieves. And the winner is Lucy Kapkaye. Our next presenter has been the faculty representative for athletics for 10 years and has been a vocal supporter of the Blue Raiders for many more years than that. Please welcome Dr. Terry Whiteside and from women's basketball, Molly McFadden. That's a nice jacket you have on there, Mr. Whiteside. It's from the Rick Gensel Hall of Fame Legends Collection. <laughs> they said if I wore it, it would make me look taller. I'm not sure it's working for you. Oh, yeah. Nothing elevates the play of a team more, pleases the coaches, or excites the fans than the unexpected playing of a newcomer. The Male Newcomer of the Year Award is presented to one male student athlete who has made a major contribution to their sport and team during the first year competition at MTSU. The 2012 nominees are from men's basketball, Laurent Dendy. From baseball, Jonathan Sisko. From football, Leighton Gaskew. From men's golf, Andrew Cho. From baseball, Jonathan Freebus. From men's tennis, Christoph Lang. And from track and field, Justice David. And the RCA war goes to Laron Dindy. I'm not sure how we kept Laurent from not talking, but it worked. Uh, I do want to remind you guys, when you do win an award, you, uh, you are perfectly allowed to make an acceptance. And, uh, and uh, so when you do that, uh, you can do that and talk to the folks here and, and give your acceptance remarks. And then we do need you on backstage. So you're not just getting an award and going back to your seat. We do need you to go backstage. Folks, there's no higher recognition for a collegiate athlete than to attain the status of All-America. Middle Tennessee was fortunate to have three such athletes to gain this honor this year, and we welcome them to the stage tonight. First of all, from volleyball, Ashley Adams. Ashley was named honorable mention All-American by the American Volleyball Coaches Association and uh, being named first team all Sun Belt and to the Sun Belt All-Tournament team. Next, Laron Dendy. Laron, you are allowed to come up, please. Everybody, want, you said we look like twins tonight with our suits on. Laron was an honorable mention All-American by the Associated Press after leading the Blue Raiders to a 27-7 record, a regular season Sunbelt Conference Championship, and a run to the NIT quarterfinals. Dindy was named the Sunbelt Player of the Year. And also from track and field, Ann Dudley. Ann finished sixth in the high jump at the NCAA Championships, earning her automatic all-American status. Ann is not with us tonight, 
She's uh, participating in the prestigious uh, pin relays in Philadelphia and is not able to be with us tonight. But let's give all of our All-Americans a round of applause. And uh, Dindy, I will tell you, you missed your chance earlier. Would you like to comment on getting your earlier award? Um, you know, it's a great appreciation of accepting the award, and I uh, thank all the fans for the vote. Um, first, I want to thank, you know, Coach Davis and Dr. McPhee and, you know, everybody from even little Steven, man. You know, they, they was with us throughout the whole thing, and, um, you know, I'm glad I said the award, and I uh, thank y'all. Thank you. You hit on back up, right? Thank you.